Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to do Rad Racer 2. Let us take a look and see how they uh, either improved or, dis or uh, worsened the gameplay experience. What they added, what they might have taken out. Um, all in all, let's just kind of... Alright, well so far we've got a much, much more elaborate uh, kind of dashboard. Controls feel a little a little better. You're not sliding around as much. It's not quite as uh, Overly fast right off the bat as the other one, but it's starting to pick up a little bit It takes a little longer to get going. I feel like um, I do feel that the control the car doesn't slide around as much it, it holds and hugs the road a little bit more which allows you to take these corners without having to just slam on your brakes so um, with that, I mean, that actually definitely is a big improvement over the first one. They still haven't done anything as far as uh, the, the backdrops. The graphics, a little bit better. The cars have more defining characteristics on them. Uh, it looks a little nicer. Even still, like, the cloud work and everything, granted, it's still basic and boring. But it does look a lot nicer than the first one. It does have what's coming up. We have the the kind of the GPS where we're, we're seeing that we're going to be making these tighter turns as opposed to uh, the first one, which there was not really much warning. And you're going by so fast that the, the street signs that they had on there, <laughs> you couldn't read what they were really saying at, at driving by at like 200 miles an hour. So uh, they, they didn't really do a lot of good. This... If you can look down and pay a little bit more attention to it, uh, definitely gives you a, a little heads up, more so than the other one. But I think the fact that it controls and hugs the and holds the, the street a little bit better definitely adds to a, just an even more enjoyable gameplay experience than the first one did. All right, what are we, are we, are we gonna hit, are we gonna run? I, we didn't really even make really a mistake and we still wound up cutting it short on that one, didn't we? Ah, again, we were pretty close. I think it's just always gonna kind of show that for the most part. It would be really hard to die way over there. So you're always gonna be like that close. It's kind of like a slot machine where it's cherry, cherry, something else. You're like, oh, we were so close when you're never really that close. Um, all in all, like I think um, a couple things that can make both of these games a little better is like a soundtrack. Even something basic, but I mean, uh, some kind of music or anything that other than just the hum of the engine, so to speak, would be probably pretty nice. But um, with that being said, honestly, like it is definitely an improvement. The first one already was decent, but this one was a much better improvement. And we got we got a car that uh, wow, we we did some. They got some good AI going on these car jesus yeah that car just screwed us didn't it this car is just like <laughs> is that all the red cars or just that one red car seems just that one red car was uh was really being a prick <laughs> but um again we got another thing that we saw in here is we got some uh good ai that actually was uh, doing putting in some work like I said the controls are so much better than the original and the original actually did really well but I do like that the car doesn't uh, slide as much everything you do and really does hug and allow you to, to to drive a little bit more without constantly having to do a lot of really bad braking acceleration is a little slower in this one which not necessarily a bad thing Again, I am definitely not one to be able to fully critique or do anything on a racing game. It is definitely not my uh, forte. 
But all in all, I am actually fairly impressed with what they, with the, the amount of changes and uh, additions they made. It, it looks it looks a little cleaner. Everything looks a little prettier. And then on top of that, uh, the handling is better. Um, the AI they added a couple things to it, which does make the game I think a little bit better. Instead of just having a basic boring like blob of a car in front of you that just sits there that you move around, having one that's constantly trying to run you off the road and stay in front of you is actually pretty good and definitely uh, bodes well to actually adding a, a, another element to the game. So I think there's a vast improvement from the first one to the second one. Even though they stayed on the same system, you can tell that they really put a lot more work into the second one and uh, did do some quality of life and just good improvements. So uh, that's Rad Racer 2. Highly recommend if you're going to do any racing game on an NES, I think Rad Racer 2, at least at this very moment, is definitely on the top pillar of uh, decent, good, quality done racing games for the system. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you next time.